Hi guys, I am doing my Twin Tuesday. I have got Miss Oakley here. Um, there will be a video in the next couple weeks kind of explaining why you haven't seen them recently. Um, I'm not going to go into those details right now because like I said, there's a video. Guys, I, I know some of you are like, oh, what do you mean? So I do my theme of the weeks, the week of that theme. Um, I try to get them done Mondays, but sometimes life just doesn't allow it so that it's available on Tuesdays. Um, I do have my upload schedule typically Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and then Tuesdays set aside for um, Twin Tuesday. So if I missed Tuesday, I usually then put it on Thursday. That way I don't have two videos come out on the same day. I try to avoid that. And I've been occasionally um, recently putting up videos on Sunday, sometimes Thursday, um, depending upon, or sometimes Tuesday if I don't get a Twin Tuesday video up, sometimes Thursday. It just depends. I think I only have four video, three or four videos right now of Piggy or Puppy. Um, like I've said in the past, we go visit her twice a week right now. Um, I know as she gets older, we'll probably go more than twice a week. But it, <clears throat> it's nice to be able to spend time with my mother-in-law, my brother-in-law, and my sister-in-law. Plus be able to spend time with Piggy. The kids play with the puppies. We are actually over there um, yesterday. We were there for quite a few hours. The kids take a our puppy and a few other puppies and let them play in the living room and the kids play with them so it's socializing the puppies and then we get to spend time with family then like yesterday we put the puppies away and then um, my brother-in-law was home uh, from work so the kids and him play video games and it's to the point they play video games quite often when he's home he only has one controller for his xbox he actually just said he's this when he gets paid this week he's gonna go buy I think he said three more controllers he wants to buy because Xbox, you can have up to four controllers. Um, he said he's going to get three more controllers because he has a daughter himself. That way all four of them can play. I'm like, okay, that's all, whatever. So um, the kids are enjoying it. We've actually, and like I said, we've been enjoying spending time with them. Um, we haven't in the past got to spend much time with them because when we did move here they lived up in the panhandle of texas um, in the lubbock area and then they moved down here about a year after we did they moved this area well, they lived out in a smaller town by my husband's grandfather which we go out there but it was just kind of a pain to get to but now that they live in town with my mother-in-law um, after her husband died um, we get to see them much more and we're actually enjoying it they're enjoying it we're getting to know them better they're getting to know the kids better so it's just been a good thing and then with the puppies like going over there more often it's just it's been at least for me very enjoyable um so anyways uh what i was getting to with that i have videos recorded um for a few weeks out Partially, I've been doing that since I, I tried to do that before to kind of get ahead. That way, if I get a lull or I just didn't in a mood and not to video or it's a oh crap, I don't know what to do. Um, moment to keep my my schedule up. Um, I record that far in advance because of a COVID. I mean, you never know. Um, all of our family has been healthy. Touch wood um and none of us have gotten sick but you never know when that's going to change uh so there's that factor as well as like just my kids schedule things are getting busy spring is coming my daughter did already say she doesn't want to do softball i suppose i could be changing her while i'm talking um, my daughter has already said she doesn't want to do softball this year, which is a huge relief. Not only cost-wise, I'm just over arguing with her and fighting with her about, you know, we need to get ready for softball. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Because every year she would ask to um, sign up for softball and we'd sign her up. And then it would come to going to practices and games and then it would be all over 
of whining, crying, throwing a fit. I don't want to go. So I'm kind of over the arguments and fighting over that. So I'm really happy, <clears throat> personally, and my husband not so much, that she has asked to take softball off this year. So that's a relief, and that is a huge commitment um, time-wise because softball games are twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then practice is usually three times a week, and we've got other things going on. Uh, my son decided at school to sign up for ukulele club. It is only allowed, fifth graders are the only ones allowed um, to do this. And at their fifth grade graduation, those that are in ukulele club get to play a song. Uh, hopefully we get to have fifth grade graduation this year. Um, who knows? From what I understood, because our school is a closed campus, that they're going to record the fifth grade graduation because my son is in fifth grade this year so he decided to do that that's once a week both kids are in UIL which is an extracurricular um it's kind of like oh, how to explain it there's different events um like my son is doing robotics and inventions uh, my daughter is doing creative writing and both of them are doing art and it's just like a little friendly competition amongst the schools. And they are they did it last year, both of them did. Both of them thoroughly enjoyed it last year. Obviously this year it's a little bit different because practices used to be in person at the school after school on Tuesdays. Now because of COVID, they are all Zoom meetings after school still. But trying to schedule or trying to figure out when their Zoom are for their UIL practices is where it gets a little much especially since both of them are in two different events and um, even though they're both doing art the art is at different times for different grade levels um, so trying to juggle that and then trying to juggle sports and then all the other life so life's getting hectic um, kids are involved in a lot of different things it's just easier for me to get ahead, um, as well as county fairs coming up. If you've never participated in a 4-H or FFA county fair, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of hard work. It's an expense. But on the flip side, if they keep with it till graduation, you can get pretty good scholarships to college. Um, I know some people are like, oh, well, if your kid... My kids are getting 100% scholar or are getting 100% college paid for. The scholarships don't just go paying for tuition. The scholarships can go for paying for housing as well as books, where some that are getting 100% um, tuition, it's only tuition. They don't get books or housing. So these 4-H scholarships can go towards that. Um, my son, who's in, like I said, he's in fifth grade. Um, he has already got a plan of where he wants to go to to college and it's not well it's in Texas but it's not local and so then he'd have to probably stay at the dorm I don't know how they work that out with they've got a program specifically for people with different needs such as autism down syndrome um, they just started the pilot program about a year ago, and it seems to be doing really well, so I'm hoping it continues to do well, and then they continue this program until he gets into college, because that's a college he even talked about going to before this pilot program started. So, we're busy with 4-H. Both of the kids are involved in two different, actually three events in 4-H. So, I just wanted to get videos cranked out so that... I don't have to worry about anything for at least a few weeks and there has been a time where it's like a, oh I've only got one week's worth of videos but I'm I have the ideas going in my head so I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I will describe what Oakley is wearing I do not know who she's twinning with yet um Crystal has not said she sent this in newborn so kind of Oakley was my only newborn sized doll that's available I guess I could have stole my daughter's reborns okay talking about my daughter and baby dolls and 
it was it a past video? I don't remember if it was here or there. Um, my daughter does like her reborns. She likes the realistic ones, but like the neonates and baby think it over she doesn't care for. She thinks the crying is annoying. So anyways, Oakley is wearing this fleece sleeper. It is a light gray sleeper that it butts, buttons down the front and then both legs. It's got these really, really, really cute um, lavender, not lavender, salmon, llama all over it. They might be alpacas. Their llamas are alpacas all over it. And it's got two bows in that salmon color at the top. And then the feet are super cute with these little lavender, or not, why do I keep wanting to say lavender? Salmon color, salmon and white colored llamas at the feet to make up the little feet. So I hope everyone has a great week and I will see you all later. Bye.